This video is a short introduction to projectile motion. First of all, what is projectile motion? Projectile motion is any type of motion where is an, an object is traveling in more than one dimension, but is affected by acceleration only in one dimension. The easiest example, for example, is if I throw something in a gravitational field. Gravity goes down. If I throw it like this, I'm moving in x and y direction. However, gravity is only acting in y direction. Therefore, I only have an acceleration downwards in y direction. Another possible case could be I'm shooting an electron into an electric field that is uniform and only goes in one direction, then also this could be a form of projectile motion. Now, what can we do in projectile motion? As in 1D motion, we can do some graphs, and we can also use some formulas to describe the formulas. In 1D motion, we have position time graphs. It's the same thing in projectile motion. The only difference now is we have a X position time graph and we have a Y position time graph. So if I take the example of throwing an object in a gravitational field, all my acceleration, if I put the x-axis this way, will be in downwards direction. So there is no acceleration and my x uh, velocity will remain constant. Therefore, I should travel in x direction at a constant rate. So my graph will look something like this. And my formula will look something like x as a function of time is whatever my initial x position is plus my velocity in x times time. In y direction, a bit more complicated because now I have an acceleration. So I will first go upwards and I will try and go backwards. There's some kind of a parabola that can be described by y as a function of time is my y initial plus my y initial velocity times time plus one half a y times t squared with, in my case, with gravity, a y equals minus 9.8 meters per second square if I'm on Earth, as an example. Note that in x it's the same equation, just in this case uh, the acceleration x is zero. Now the one thing that is new in uh, projectile motion is that we can also draw a y position versus x position uh, graph. Think of it, we're simply tracing where the object is flying. So this is actually the trajectory of trajectory of our object. It will also look like some kind of parabola. If you throw something, you realize it looks like a parabola, so something like this. Note that I put on purpose the peaks not at the same time because the axes are completely different. So these two peaks do not have to be aligned. This is y as a function of x, and here we have r y as a function of time. So the peaks do not have to be aligned. And then the function itself, what we want as an equation, we want y as a function of x. So basically, some 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 x plus some 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 some, some x squared. The equation itself in general form is a bit more complicated. Uh, basically what you have to do, you solve one of these for time and then plug time into the other one and you solve, put everything with y on one side, everything with x on the other side and you have your trajectory equation. However, there are cases when it gets quite simple. For example, if you start at height zero or, uh, and I will get to that in a later uh, video, but for now, uh, just use uh, the x equation as a function of time and the y equation as a function of time as it allow, allows you to solve actually most of the problems you will ever encounter with projectile motion.